two dimensional array of characters two dimensional array of characters have a behavior which is a little different from two dimensional array of numbers or floats or ints or whatever it is so let us say i go about wanting to store the months of a year in a two dimensional array i can't store months of a year in a single dimensional array because there are 12 months and each month has varying length so what i am going to do here is i am going to declare an array of characters of two dimensions having 12 rows and 25 columns so in the zero row i am going to have january first row february second row march all the way in the 11th row i am going to have december which is going to be stored now number of rows are 0 to 11 number of columns are from 0 to 24 so january is going to be stored like this in the zero row j a n u a r y so zero row seventh column is going to have a null first row zeroth column i am starting february and it is ending in the first row eighth column with the null character march is starting in the second row zeroth column and ending in the second row fifth column with the null character now one thing you may have observed the length of all these particular strings is quite different the length of january is different from march march is different from may maybe may is different from july now all this space is kind of wasted when i use a two dimensional array to declare an array of characters like for example storing the months of a year so here you can notice there is a lot of wastage of space in order to avoid this wastage of space i can simply declare an array of pointers suppose i want to store the days of the week i can declare an array of pointers like this so what will happen is in this array of pointers i am going to have say this is your array of pointers array of pointers is simply a normal array instead of containing numbers it is this is going to contain addresses instead of numbers it is containing address so at the zeroth location the address 1000 exists let us assume monday is stored at address 1000 tuesday is stored starting at address 1015 and so on and sunday is stored starting at address 1090 so dow of 0 is going to contain the address 1000 dow of 1 is going to contain the address 1015 dow of 6 is going to contain the address 1090 which happens to be the starting address of sunday 1015 happens to be the starting address of tuesday 1000 happens to be the starting address of monday now the advantage is since these are all not stored like an array but these are stored in the memory after monday there is a null so here only enough space is allocated equal to the length of the string so no extra wastage of space takes place you even if these strings have different character lengths so using an array of pointers to character type of data is definitely preferable over an array of two dimensional characters because as you saw in the previous slide or the previous page there was a lot of wastage of space because we had to define the maximum space as 25 assuming that some month could be 25 characters long but when i declare it as an array of pointers just the space required to store the characters is there and then you have the null character this way if i am going to print the months of the year all that i have to do is i have to use a for loop as long as i less than 12 months of i months of i represents the starting address of january or j so the address of january is passed to printf and printf prints january when i becomes 1 the address of f or the starting address of february is passed to printf and february is printed you can think of this two dimensional array as a number of one dimensional arrays so this is one one dimensional array this is the second one dimensional array this is the third one dimensional array and so on take a look at this this will give you a better idea you can think of a two dimensional array as this is the first array this is the second array third array fourth array fifth array sixth array seventh array all the way till 11th array so when i say months of i the address of the zeroth array is passed when i becomes one address of the first array is passed 
when i becomes to address of the second array is passed so in c a two dimensional array is actually a collection of multiple one dimensional arrays so this is the first one dimensional array after 25 characters this array will start after the next 25 characters this array will start after 25 characters this array will start now when i am printing months of the year okay when i send months it's going to send the address of jan assume this exists at address 1000 so 1000 is going to be sent to this particular printf and it's going to print till it encounters a null let us say february exists at address 1020 1020 or 1030 address 1030 is going to be sent to printf it will keep printing till null now when i am going to print days of the week here again what is going to happen is dow stands for days of the week dow of 0 when i is 0 so I, dow of 0 happens to be 1000 so the address 1000 is sent to printf so starting from address 1000 monday is going to be printed then dow i becomes 1 dow of 1 is address 1015 address 1015 is sent to printf then tuesday is being printed this way all the ad addresses are sent starting from the address of monday till sunday and the days of the week are printed so it is absolutely essential to understand a few things here please go back to the pointer videos to have a very clear understanding of pointers that is the only way you're going to understand array of characters or strings very accurately provided you go and make an effort to understand pointers